Welcome back to another Torch Review. Hope everyone had a nice break over the Christmas and New Year period. This is the Olight Ion which has come in and it was sent in via Olight. So I'm going to do my usual video, look at what's included and then we'll do some beam shots later on and share a few thoughts. Now this comes with um, a protective wrapper on the uh, case of the torch but you can see the size on the screen there it's a little bit smaller than the tip and the astrolux but we have gorilla glass on the front and back as well as titanium all the way around the case you see the micro usb port there this is to celebrate the 10th anniversary of olight um, so it's a bit of a niche product in a lot of ways as in a sort of a collector's item um, now the side switch on this for on and off and fortunately it is uh, fairly resistant to pushing it so I haven't had any accident or activation issues there's the uh, cutout there for the uh, keychain which you can also add and we've got uh, XPG3 two of them which is unusual on the front of the light quick comparison to the Astrolux and the Tinny or Tiny however you want to pronounce it from Nightcore as you can see it's um, in the middle in terms of the size I'll just show you through the UI now, side switch on and off, it remembers the last setting that you have um, on the light. Then you push the plus and minus controls to go through the four presets which takes you from 2.5 up to 160. But in addition to that you can also push and hold and go through variable power output as well. So you need to push and hold the plus to get up to the turbo or minus to get it right down to the lowest moonlight setting. So that's interesting, a bit different from what I was expecting, um, but it actually works fairly well. Um, the reason it works okay is because you have to put quite a bit of pressure on the touch sensitive buttons to get them to do anything. You can see here the LED gives you the power status indicator, three colors. So you really need to give it a good push to either go through the presets or to um, variable power output on it. So just light touching it won't. Um, accidentally activate it or change the power setting and that's pretty important really although I have to admit I do prefer the tactile feedback of uh, real buttons myself now just a quick look at the user manual I've done a screen grab on this so you can have a look through that if you want I've just covered the basics there pretty simple stuff you'll notice that it doesn't have um, any IPX rating and it also is drop proof to 0 0.3 meters which is quite a bit less than some of the other torches this is just to show you the rest of the bundle you get a little card here saying thank you and this uh, these are protectors for the Gorilla Glass they seem to be already pre-fitted on the torch as in you'd have to take those off to put those back on obviously otherwise it's going to stand proud so there is protectors on there over the Gorilla Glass 5 and this is a look at the uh, keychain so this um, is fairly good in terms of the quality I'm not unhappy with it, it has a lobster claw um, on one section so you can detach it if you want and the micro USB cable 50 centimeters in length I've just attached it to the light so you can see that although the um, loop does stick out a bit um, it's possible to sort of stand it on its base and point upwards and there's the lobster claw there in case you want to like a jewelry item in case you want to remove it now as far as the charging you can see here the red LED which turns to green when it's completed and it came in just under the 300 milliamp hour uh, capacity this is a runtime test that I've done at the high level 160 lumens and you get just under an hour out of the light at that setting so I'm going to do some beam shots now um, I'm going to save my full beam shots till I get the rest of the keychain lights in but this will give you an idea of the power output I've compared it to the uh, Nightcore uh, Tinny or Tiny however you want to call it um, I found that it'll be a little bit more powerful but that's possibly not the most important area so run the rest of the beam shots and come back with a few thoughts at the end
Just a quick note on the drop down test there, you'll see that it holds its top power output for quite a long time. It's only around just under eight minutes that it started to drop and only very slightly. So that's quite impressive on that side of things. I'll be completely honest, this wasn't what I was expecting from Olight. Um, as a keychain light, I was thinking something more mainstream would come along. This to me is more of a collector's item or something which you would give to someone who wants a gift. It's a premium price product and it does feel premium in terms of the construction and the design is quite different to other keychain lights that I've used. That can be a good or bad thing, depending on how you think about it. They've done a decent job with what they have. Disappointment for me would be the lack of water resistance rating on this. And I'm not sure how well it's going to hold up long term with drops and things like that with the tempered glass that can be an issue but do let me know what you're looking for in a keychain light leave a comment below and i'll also be adding this to my keychain light shootout which i'll be doing shortly just waiting for a couple more lights to turn up on that so thanks for watching the video do subscribe to the channel if you can appreciate your support and i will catch up with you in my next video review which i'll be working on very soon